So I've been taking a look at Mordet's videos. He's got a new helmet cam. Yay! Awesome, man. He's got this little um, fisheye camera installed on his um, installed in his helmet. I guess I guess I can. The helmet is um, the fisheye camera is mounted externally outside of his helmet um, to the right side and his microphone is on the inside of his helmet um, the only thing I don't like about the setup is the microphone gain it is really yucky it sounds it doesn't sound that crisp it's actually, it's actually very noisy and um, there's truncation to the optic on the on the course on the upper and lower right corners top left corners yeah that that's that's the only thing um, if the if the if the optic didn't truncate and I wonder what that is I'll bet you it's an O-ring that um the O-ring seal that makes it waterproof and to make it waterproof you need to put that O-ring seal so it goes be it goes between the normal lens and the adapter fisheye lens. So there's a there's a gap that causes that. Either that or, 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 the, or the lens is not designed for that focal um, length. I mean, it's not uh, what's the word. Field view. The field of view focal length combo is, is something something a little messed up there. But it's a it's actually pretty nice to see. To see a fish eye setup, and it's 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 I think it's you know like I said the wider the lens you have the more dynamic your image the the quicker things are small and as they approach the area grows very bigly, very very quick very uh, the area of the object the object approaches much quicker um, on a wide angle lens appears to appear approach much quicker because uh, um, the object grows faster as you approach it. So I got this. Um, I actually bought a fish eye lens for the Kodak D570, and uh, I'm trying to make an adapter to it. So yeah, I got a lot of projects. I just don't have time. I got a lot of things that that I'd love to do. I just don't 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 have the time to do it all. You know, if if I if if I could do if shoot if my job was just to fiddle around, fiddle around all day and just do whatever, that's what I would do. It's just do whatever. That's what I would love to. Do. In fact, I wish kind of wish my job was just to roam and talk about philosophy and tease dogs. <laughs> you know, just freaking tea lassie all day. <laughs> well, not all day. At least 30 seconds a day. At least. Yeah, it's like like the highlight of my mornings. <laughs> Kenny has a um, computerized um, edging machine to grind the shape of uh, camera lenses and so I mean not camera lenses but what's the word I forget the right word for it that's okay talk about it um oh to, to grind the edges of um, lenses, the, the shape of it. So he's uh, he got one for me. So we'll see how it goes. Huh. This looks like a guy. Yeah, it's like a is that a Chinese one or a Taiwanese brand? It's got a picture of Gong Li in the back. It looks new. Uh.
Do, 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 do. Oh, I got my glasses and it's awesome. I, I have a Crizol AR coating on my on my lenses. They're like um forty dollars more just for the coating. And so it's forty dollars in addition to whatever high performance coating they already had. So so you can imagine it was pretty expensive. Um, and didn't get any fancy frame either. I think my my lenses were just really expensive. Yeah, I think they're all expensive. Whatever the deal was there. Ooh, I should have gone that way. Let's see. Let's go this way instead. Yeah. That's tough, you know, when you're traveling at lunchtime. I think you can get a lot of stuff done. Turns out that it's just a lot of traffic at lunch. Everybody's trying to do the same thing. Oh, so this, this design studio here is Bull Concept. Boy, they really, really outdid themselves. They took really high-end European design and put it here. Smack inside in the middle of Honolulu. It's it's quite a magnificent building. And it did an amazing job. Beautiful. I think the owners are here too. It's really a beautiful, beautiful building. Beautiful commercial space. I think the problem that um, Hawaii has is that the land is so limited not as much thought is not not as much importance is put into um, um, being extravagant on style and the emphasis is mostly economics you know the most efficient use of land yeah they try to deck it out they try to make it nice they don't really quite, um, you know, it's not a full, it, I think it, it's weighed more heavily, the, um, uh, what you might call the, the economic, the economics of space, the limitation of space, weighs a lot more heavily than the style and aesthetics. Did I put that correctly? Did I do that right? Yeah. Well, at least in the city. Yeah. Okay, so, Spider-Man 3 is coming out. Hey, guess what? We're here. Spider-Man 3 is going to be playing here at Ward. The Ward Theater, so. We take my little sister. She's been, she sent me an email saying she wanted me to take her. Otherwise, I was going to see it Thursday night at midnight. <laughs> Fortunately, she 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 asked me.